The first album was like very chill and easy and fun and it was like, I think everyone has a first album in them. The second album was like, every single decision that we made was like, like I really climbed uphill up the mountain with this album. Come get my things, but I can't let go. Every, every sound I was like, is this the perfect thing? Whereas I feel like last time it was, you know, I just kind of tossed it out. Um, but it feels good to, to really labor over something and know that like, like with green light, you know, every sound in that is handpicked by us and, and you know, right up to like, we had the mix and we were getting in the mix and, 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 and mixing it ourselves. Like it was just such a kind of, we were right in there, which is fun. Jack is the best. He is one of the strangest people I've ever met in my life. He um, he is so himself, which I love, and we just had the best time um, hanging out at his house um, and at yeah different studios around the place. But for the most part, we wrote the record just in a bedroom in his house, um, sitting around the piano. Um, but yeah, he's he's a nut. He's 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 like my family at this point. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, a favorite me Oh my God, there's so many. I mean, we would, there was like one point before kind of things got really serious and we had like a deadline where we would just go out for these ridiculous dinners and get like water cocktails and get like a giant platter of seafood. We'd be at like the nicest restaurants in like in New York and just like these scumbags. Like he just wears the worst clothes all the time. Like we were just so kind of, Gross. I feel like that's like a real hallmark of this process is us just like eating food that's way nicer than we look like we can uh, we can afford. <laughs> well, Robin was actually a big influence. Not so much like the direct Sonics, but um, just I think she can do something so incredible, which is write such a tight, classic, um, exemplary pop song. You know, there's no average moments in a Robin song. They're all just, she's at the top of her game, every part of the song. I, I guess that's how my love of her manifested, you know, is wanting to make this music that reflected all these nights I was having and going out, but also the complexity of everything that I was feeling, you know. So she was a big one. Um, for the most part, it was really like, we really just locked away and didn't like listen to a bunch of stuff. We got really into, I had like a weird, I got really into Paul Simon, Phil Collins and like, I went deep and I went like, I went, I went throwback and I think that really helped. I really wanted to push my songwriting as far as I could and so, you know, it was cool to be like making these songs with like weird hip hop drums and but I was like, what would, how would Don Henley like say this line? How would how would Paul Simon do oh, it? When we were writing it, I remember I freaked out. I was like, "This is this isn't. I don't like how this. It doesn't sound. It's not good it, because it it really does sound like something I grew up listening to, you know. Um, but there's something kind of cool about that, I think. Um, yeah, that that one is that's that's really that's really old school. Green light, I was just like, this is so much a step forward for me. I don't think it's what anyone could have predicted or expected. And, you know, I think since I had been gone, pop music had changed a lot. And I was definitely like, if I came back and did the same thing, it wouldn't feel fresh at all. And also I couldn't, like, I would be so bored doing that. Um, so green light just felt like this like very, strange, confident thing of like, here I am. Like you can, this is where I'm at right now. Like if you want to come with us, you can come with us, you know. <laughs> People have come with us, so it's yeah. good. Well, I, I, I had one of the craziest years of my life and I think a lot of people had a crazy year last year. It was so, um, 
turbulent, you know, politically, and it really felt like um, people kind of, you know, I, I couldn't, I spent my days being so kind of traumatized by Twitter and by the news. I just wanted to kind of shut it out and be with my friends and dance and, you know, get ridiculous. And I, I, I feel like this combination of having this very intense, colorful, yeah, personally, and then there being this very um, intense, kind of big, dramatic um, thing happening in terms of, happening globally, you know, it's sort of, I was like, this, this is like one big melodrama. That's just how it felt to me. And also there was an element of like, you know, when you're 20, everything feels like the biggest deal in the world and the most permanent thing in the world. I'm like, I feel terrible and there's no way I'm not gonna feel like this at some, like I'm like, this is it forever. I'm, I'm heartbroken forever. And to me, that is, all those emotions, you know, there was such a melodrama to, to feeling that way and, you know, just being so gripped by the emotion, whether it's, you know, being so happy or so annoyed or so sad or whatever, you know, I, I was like, this is, uh, it's, it's a good name for an album that you write when you're, when you're 19, 20, I think. <laughs>Oh yeah, I was, uh, I, I totally made my peace with it the night before it came out. I was like on the phone to Jack saying, you know, whatever happens, we, I'm really proud, we've made something cool, you know, <laughs> which is funny now I think about it. Um, but yeah, I was, I was really nervous. You know, I think with a second album, um, you just, you hope that people want to you know, go with you to the new world that, that you've been living in. That's, that's all you can hope for. And I know there's a lot of artists where I haven't gone to that place with them. I've been like, mm, I'm good with just one. So I was aware that that was something that, you know, could happen, but um, it's felt amazing. I'm so happy that people, uh, people, people want to come. <laughs>